Pisces. This will happen in the next 48 hours for July the 13th through July the 14th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces for July the 13th through July the 14th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces for July the 13th through July the 14th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces for July the 13th through July the 14th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. Pisces, you need to repent and get your life together. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Pisces, these are your cards, honey. So, Pisces, you have the moon. This is you, Pisces, but the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. So, Pisces, this is you. Clarify the moon for Pisces. Clarify the moon for Pisces. What about Pisces? What about Pisces? Clarify the moon for Pisces. It is clarified with the seven of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone lying, cheating, stealing, being manipulative, trying to get away with something, someone being deceptive, someone strategically devising a plan of action, someone being sneaky, trying to escape, trying to get away with something. So Pisces, some type of lying, cheating, deceptiveness here, sneakiness, or sneaking off. Now Pisces, listen, yes you got, what about Pisces? Some type of deception, sneakiness, or sneaking off. So Pisces, are you sneaking off? However, Pisces, you can tell me some type of secret has come out about some type of deception. Yours or theirs. Pisces, you have the Empress. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. But the Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth, and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the empress is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child or someone who's expecting. Now, this can be about your abundance, but it could also be about nurturing the relationship. Clarify the empress for Pisces. Clarify the empress for Pisces. Clarify the empress for Pisces. It is clarified with the magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And you have all the tools and resources available to you to manifest whatsoever you will. You have the water element, the earth element, the air element, the fire element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, you can manifest. So Pisces could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to make something happen here. Clarify the magician. For Pisces, clarify the magician. For Pisces, clarify the magician. For Pisces, it is clarified with the Five of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is you feeling remorse and regret, hurt, crying on the inside over all the time that has spilled out, all the effort and energy that has spilled out, all the love that has spilled out. This is you mourning the loss of this relationship. Disappointed on how things happen out in the relationship. So Pisces, you're telling me you're hurt, you're mourning, you're disappointed here. However, you could be feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played. Pisces, you can tell me that you're disappointed because you were unable to manifest you guys nurturing the relationship further. 
You can tell me that you're disappointed because you were unable to manifest some type of an abundance here. And, but I'm looking at the means on how you tried to do something here, Pisces. By any means necessary over here. And I hope you weren't lying about the cycles of the moon and someone expecting here. What is this? Pisces? Pisces, you have the three of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we are reunited and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third party situation going on. So Pisces, you can tell me you have just cause to celebrate. You can tell me that you guys are reuniting or there's a third party. Clarify the three of cups for Pisces. Clarify the three of cups for Pisces. Clarify the three of cups for Pisces. I mean, you can tell me that. You're trying to manifest this person knowing or believing that you're feeling remorse and regret for something. Clarify the Three of Cups, Nine of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in your mind, losing sleep at night, worried about something. So Pisces, you're all up in your head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here. Pisces, you're in your head, bothered because you're hoping that you guys reunite and they understand that you're feeling remorse and regret here. Pisces, you can tell me you're in your head because there was a third party here on their behalf or your behalf. And, uh, but I want to know if you're in your head about having just cause to celebrate with this moon and this empress here. Uh, Pisces, you have the five of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So Pisces, you can tell me that something is going on financially, some type of financial lack, or this is a breakup. Clarify the five of pentacles for Pisces. Clarify the five of pentacles. For Pisces. Clarify the five of pentacles. For Pisces. It is clarified with the ten of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So Pisces, someone very well may have commitment on the brain, but in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. So Pisces, this, this commitment, marriage, living together situation, family dynamics is coming to an end. There's a breakup here. But Pisces, were you guys like primed to have just cause to celebrate and go into a commitment? But that's off the table because... Some type of secret is coming out about some type of deception. And you're in your head because we no longer have just cause to celebrate. You're in your head because someone had a third party. You were them. I don't know if you're hurt because they did or feel remorse and regret because you did. And it could also be some type of family dynamics going on with this Empress's Moon and just cause to celebrate over here. You have the Five of Cups again. So you can tell me that you're hurt, you're mourning, you're disappointed, or you're feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played. Clarify the Five of Cups for Pisces. Clarify the Five of Cups for Pisces. Clarify the Five of Cups for Pisces. It is clarified with temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but the universe is cautioning you to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that you make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. 
Now, when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. Could be dealing with a Sag, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need to heal individually on my own. You can tell me that you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Very well could be some type of compromise and negotiations going on here. Also, a need for you to be patient. Clarified temperance. For Pisces, clarified temperance. For Pisces, clarified temperance. For Pisces. It is clarified with the Seven of Pentacles. <clears throat> Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted. Looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far. Trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest. <clears throat> whether you want to reinvest. You're taking stock of you guys' relationship. Assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account. Looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So Pisces, you can tell me that you're waiting on money, looking at your coins, looking at your bank account. You can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that you're waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Pisces, you can tell me that you ask yourself whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. You feel like you're hurt, you're mourning, you're disappointed, and you need to heal individually on your own, okay? But Pisces, you could also tell me that you're feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played. And you're waiting to see whether or not you guys are going to be able to heal things here. So are you trying to manifest them believing that you're feeling remorse and regret and you're wanting to nurture the relationship further? Because it seems to me like something may have been put on hold here because of, of a deception. In the beginning, I asked, what about Pisces? Like, what about Pisces? However, comma, it could be some type of secret coming out about a deception, yours or theirs. This reading could be vice versa. I'm going to take a look at the Twin Flames exposed for you and your partner, Pisces. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. And it says, Narcissist. It better not be you. <laughs> it better not be you, Pisces. I'm going to take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you and your partner, Pisces. And it says, I am becoming a better person. Well, that's great. I am becoming a better person, okay? Someone's not going to be so narcissistic going forward. Pisces, this will happen in the next 48 hours for July the 13th through July the 14th, 2024. You guys give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.